Okay, so this is the first well, well one. And I will just start from this file, this well one, and I will the I will do some modifications and save it as well two. Okay. So now we will use well one. Okay, we will keep many data. Okay, we will we will keep the majority of this configuration and we can change yeah few parameters and then save the file as well too okay so let me check okay everything will be kept all right click done and then for the pvt everything will be kept all right, already match. Click done. And then for the, yeah, let me check again. Okay, water gas ratio. Yeah, I will, yeah. We should keep it. We must keep it. Yeah, you see, this is actually well one and man, but I will save it as well to Angman. Okay, so I will, I just use the the first file. Okay, to make my life easier. Click done. And then for the IPR. Okay. The same reservoir pressure temperature. Okay. The same for permeability but let's assume in this second well the reservoir thickness is only 50 feet okay so the the thickness of the reservoir is not uniform some thicker some thinner okay so let's say it is thinner in well two with okay drainage area of 500 the same well bore radius perforation interval let's assume yeah 100 percent of the reservoir thickness will be perforated so the perforation interval is 50 time since production started one porosity 15 percent conat water saturation 25 percent okay and then for the mechanical geometrical Reservoir permeability the same, density, shot density eight. Perforation diameter in this well, let's assume two, 2.5 inches. Perforation length four. Perforation efficiency one. Damage zone thickness, I mean damage zone permeability 12. Crash zone thickness, yes. Crat zone permeability eight. Short facing okay. Well radius okay. Vertical permeability two point five okay. That's good. In the section the same. Now we can calculate. Okay. Or I can leave it blank first if I can or not. Okay, already calculated. All right, in this well, the AOF is smaller compared to the first well. The AOF is only 92.5 million standard cubic feet per day. So you can check the results. Click done. This is the IPR. Okay. The skin, perforation skin, damage skin, the absolute open flow. Okay, click finish, finish, finish. Yeah, at this point, we can save this, this file first and call it well too. Okay, I will, I will do that. Okay, so now we are we are now well to actually. I have 
save it as well too. Okay, I will do the same, edit. Let's check the trajectory. Okay, the trajectory, let me check my data the same. Okay, we can keep the same trajectory. And then for the tubing or the well configuration. Yeah, the same, click done. The temperature should be the same and default heat capacities. Okay, click done, click done. Now for the nodal analysis, click calculation, system IPR and VLP. Let's say the top node pressure, the wellhead pressure is 430. And yeah, we can calculate. All right, so the the top node pressure here is smaller. Let just to check it because later on the wallet pressure will be based on the gap. Okay, by lowering or by having lower top node pressure, of course we can increase the gas rate. That's why we have the intersection between or the yeah the intersection between IPR and VLP at this far right side and we can produce at rate of 70.7 .7 million standard cubic feet per day which is very big okay so again you can check the plot system plot plot all cases done yeah this is our second well the nodal analysis for second well click finish finish save okay so we have completed the second well i will start using this second well okay and then i will name it as well three and i will do some modifications okay i will pause for a while 